Hi there, I'm Mark Lucas with EndStuffMusic.com, and today we're going to be doing a review of a Fender Stratocaster, which is part of their American Vintage series. Um, there was a lot of research that was done on these guitars to bring them really back to the to the original vintage specs when uh, when Leo Fender was actually uh, at Fender Guitars, and this one is called the '56 Stratocaster. Let me go through the features with you. First of all, we have an ash body. It's a, sort of an off-white color. A single-ply pickguard. We have three vintage single coils wired to a five-way switch. We have the synchronized tremolo, which is a six-point vintage type of tremolo. On the back, we have the classic uh, vintage uh, Cluson type of uh, keys. The body is finished in what is called a flash coat nitro finish. So it's very breathable, it's very uh, lively, and this particular guitar is, uh, is very light in weight. Um, so it, this is one of these instruments you could really play all night, and it's really quite a workhorse too. Um, 56 was quite a pivotal year for Fender in that that was the first year that they used what was called a V-neck uh, for the, the neck shape on the back, and, and this one is no exception. And this is really true to vintage form. Um, so for people who like V-necks on Stratocasters, this one is, is really, really all the way there. Uh, also, the Butterfly String Tree, that was the first year that Fender used that. That was 1956. And um, it's a, like I said, it's a very lively guitar, and at the same time, it's really a workhorse of an instrument. So um, let me go through some sounds. Here is our neck pickup. <laughs> neck and middle pickup. Middle pickup. Middle pickup and bridge pickup. And the bridge pickup. Now we will go to some uh, some overdrive sounds. <clears throat> I'm using one of my favorite boxes of all time, an MXR carbon copy analog delay for some atmosphere. And we're also using today a full tone Plimsoll uh, overdrive box, which is another one of my favorite boxes too. So here is our bridge pickup overdriven. <laughs> Bridge and middle overdriven. Middle pickup overdriven. The uh, middle pickup and neck pickup overdriven. And just a neck pickup over Jimmy. The interesting thing about these pickups too is that um, if you just back off of your uh, pick attack or even volume a little bit, they clean up really, really nicely. Um, so you could play like 
for instance, still overdriven on the bridge pickup. <laughs> even more prevalent in the uh, bridge and the middle position. So they're very, very sensitive pickups, and they really work, uh, you know, really well with, with the whole vibe of this, uh, of this instrument. So um, what else is there about this great guitar? Uh, it comes with a classic uh, a hard shell fender case too, and um, it's a wonderful reinvention or reinterpretation of a '56 Stratocaster. It's got all the right things exactly where they need to be, and like I said, this one is really a, a real workhorse of a Stratocaster. You could pretty much do everything you need to do with it. So, um, my name is Mark Lucas. Thank you for coming to see us today. We always appreciate your business and your comments, and uh, we look forward to hearing from you. So, thanks again. Mm -hmm.